So you've just been prescribed hydrochlorothiazide, also known as HCTZ, one of the most common blood pressure medications out there. And maybe you Googled it and suddenly you're staring at a list of nearly 100 different possible side effects. But here's the real question. Which side effects actually matter? which are common and which are so rare that you probably don't even need to worry about them at all. Well, that's exactly what we're breaking down in today's video. Here's a little inside scoop. When drug companies submit medications for approval, they're required to list every single side effect that gets reported by patients. And this holds true even if it wasn't necessarily caused by the medication. So if someone took hydrochlorothiazide and happened to stub their toe, technically toe pain could end up on the list of potential side effects. This is why those lists are so long and terrifying. But in real world medicine, we zoom in on two to three most common potential side effects to happen based on actual physiology. Speaking of physiology, how does hydrochlorothiazide actually work? Well, HCTZ is classified as a diuretic, also known as a water pill. Think of your blood vessels like plumbing in your house. The more water you pump into the system, the more the pressure builds up on the inside of those pipes. Now what water pills do in general is they help drain excess fluid from the body, which decreases the amount of fluid in the arteries, hence decreasing blood pressure. Hydrochlorothiazide is in a category known as a thiazide diuretic. It acts directly on your kidneys to help push out more water. Less fluid in the pipes leads to less pressure buildup on the inside, and less pressure built up on the inside leads to lower blood pressure. It's simple, but honestly, highly effective. And this is why a lot of doctors reach for HCTZ as a first line blood pressure medication. However, and this is key, changing how your body handles its own fluid dynamics comes with unwanted effects known as side effects. The most obvious of the three side effects that we're gonna talk about today, starting off with number one on the list, is frequent urination. When you first start hydrochlorothiazide, your body says, great, let's get rid of the extra fluid. And then you'll notice you're heading to the bathroom a lot more often than you used to be. And this is especially true within the first couple of weeks on HCTZ. My tip to help improve this is to take the hydrochlorothiazide immediately when you wake up first thing in the morning. If you wait to take it later in the afternoon or even in the evening, you end up waking up multiple times at night to go to the bathroom. And let's be honest, no one really enjoys that. Now the second side effect is a bit more hidden and less obvious. And if it's not caught early enough, it honestly can be life threatening. The second side effect is electrolyte abnormalities. When you lose fluid in the body, either when you urinate or when you sweat, you also lose electrolytes like sodium and potassium. These electrolytes are essential for keeping your muscles to work properly. Now, a lot of times we think of the skeletal muscles and losing electrolytes leading to cramps in the legs and the arms, but they're very important for the muscles of the heart to maintain proper heart rhythms. Taking each of these electrolytes in isolation, low potassium can cause muscle cramps, fatigue, weakness, and even dangerous heart rhythms that can potentially be fatal if the potassium is low enough. And low sodium can cause fatigue, confusion, and even life-threatening seizures. This is why doctors usually order a blood test to check the electrolyte function within a few weeks to months after first starting hydrochlorothiazide. We want to make sure that the potassium and sodium, among other things, is safe when first starting this medication. And the good news is even if we see minor changes, they're usually pretty simple to fix, either with a diet tweak, like adding extra bananas or avocados, or by slightly adjusting the dose. Now, electrolyte abnormalities are one piece of the puzzle, 
But here's another twist. Even if your blood work looks completely fine, you may still feel the side effects of hydrochlorothiazide in a slightly different way. And this can occur especially when you stand up too quickly. The third side effect that we're talking about today is dizziness or lightheadedness. And honestly, this one makes sense when you really think about it. If hydrochlorothiazide does its job too well, meaning it significantly lowers your blood pressure a little bit faster than your body expects it to. You might feel dizzy or lightheaded, especially when you stand up too quickly, and this is known as orthostatic hypotension. It's essentially your body saying, hey, give me a second to catch up and push this blood pressure to your brain, you goof. Now, if you notice this happening to you consistently, let your doctor know. It doesn't always mean that you have to stop the medication, but you may have to slightly adjust the med as needed. In fact, and this is actually kind of a funny story, one of my patients who I first started on hydrochlorothiazide thought she was initially allergic to the medication. She said, I started taking the medication and within the first week, I was noticing dizziness and I've never struggled with dizziness my entire life. Turned out her blood pressure was just dropping a little bit faster than expected and we ended up cutting her dose in half and she tolerated the medicine really well. Now we've covered the three main side effects of hydrochlorothiazide, but here's the part that most people don't hear about. There were a few hidden and rarer side effects that don't don't necessarily happen to most people, yet when they do, they can catch you completely off guard. One of the lesser known side effects of hydrochlorothiazide is that it can raise uric acid levels in the blood. Why does this actually matter? Well, uric acid is a natural waste product of the body, but if it builds up too much, it can form sharp crystals that can lodge into the joints of the body and actually cause a significant amount of pain. This is the mechanism behind gout, and so high hydrochlorothiazide can actually increase your risk to developing gout. Now, most people that are placed on HCTZ don't end up getting gout, but if you have a predisposition at baseline of getting gout attacks, this is definitely something to keep in the back of your mind. And certainly if you have a history of gout, this is not the first line blood pressure medicine of choice. Another possible side effect, but is a little bit more rare, is a bump in your overall blood sugar levels. Why does this happen? Well, hydrochlorothiazide can make you a little less sensitive to insulin. For someone who already has prediabetes or diabetes, adding hydrochlorothiazide may cause their blood sugars to spike. For most people, again, it's not an issue, but if you have prediabetes or diabetes, make sure that your doctor knows that before they put you on HCTZ. Now, the last one is probably the most rare on this list, but I do think it is worth mentioning. Some people notice when they start hydrochlorothiazide that they have increased sensitivity to the sun, meaning that they burn more easily than they otherwise would. If this happens to you, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to stop the medication, but I personally will reach for a different class of medication to lower blood pressure because I don't want my patient being allergic to the sun the rest of their life or as long as they're on that medicine. The bottom line on rare side effects for HCTZ is that over 90% of all people never experience them. When they do happen, they're usually manageable with lifestyle changes or dose reductions. The key in sharing this information is simply awareness. You know exactly what to look for when you start this medication. Now, if you can't remember everything that we talked about today, that's totally fine. I put together a free resource highlighting all of the important points from today's video in my hydrochlorothiazide reference guide, and I'll put that down in the link below. It's completely free. While hydrochlorothiazide is one of the most common blood pressure medications, it's not the only one. Maybe you were started on a medication like amlodipine, which is another commonly prescribed blood pressure medication. And if you have been, there are some major side effects that I would look out for. And you can check those out here in the video when I talk about the top three side effects of amlodipine.